Three years ago today, I decided to choose love over fear and chase my dreams. The past three years have been the most liberating years of my life. Ever since I realized that I wanted to do YouTube, a creative expression where I could speak my truth and not settle on any other career path, that's when I started to feel the most in alignment with my soul. Fear is one of the things that held me back for so long. Fear of being judged, how my acquaintances from college and high school are going to perceive me. But I realized that I only have one life here on this beautiful planet and I don't want to spend the majority of it letting something like fear stop me from living my best life. I feel like when people chase their dreams, they expect their path to look like this. Shing! Accomplish their goals right away with like minimal effort. Or that's at least what the majority of us hope that the path to accomplishing our dreams look like, right? At least for me. So like when my path starts to look like this, okay? I was like, oh, okay, okay, okay. This is not about immediate gratification. Yeah, but what if your path starts to look like this? <laughs> yeah one thing that i have realized from going on this path is that the journey towards our dreams is not linear at all even this it's not that realistic because this is like pretty straightforward but i feel like this path is so much more realistic because it includes all of the detours the doubts insecurities and hesitations going back and forth on whether this is the right path for us one of my main values in life is adventure. And if my path looked like this, I would not be able to call that an adventure. This is boring. This doesn't build character. This, is, this doesn't do anything for your personality. This is like going viral and having that 10 seconds of fame type of vibe. This makes you strengthen your core and also your work. So much to the point where when people finally stumble upon what you're putting out, your work will speak for itself. This is the hill that I want to die on. <laughs> this is the hill that I want to die on. I can't imagine myself being as happy and fulfilled if I were to pursue something else. And I know that me showing up, choosing freedom, choosing love is also inspiring other people to do the same as well. There's this quote that I hear over and over again. I think especially in the Glennon Doyle po podcast, We Could Do Hard Things, you cannot free other people if you are not free yourself. It's not really my main motive to free other people, to be honest. I think my number one intention from showing up on YouTube is I just want to be free. If that also inspires other people and plants seeds into other people's brain that they could do that too, then great. At the end of the day, it is for me. What I truly believe to the core is that universe rewards people who follow their heart. It is also all about divine timing and I know that if you're chasing your dreams and you hear the word divine timing You kind of would want to punch the screen because I probably heard that so many times Like just wait, just wait success is on the way to you But I reflected on why it made me feel ugh, so annoyed and I was like, whoa What is my super strong attachment of trying to reach the results as fast as possible? Because I don't think that my dream life would only exist if I achieved a milestone or a goal. That doesn't sound right. For me, with this path, it has been so rewarding even though, you know, I haven't been seeing the money come in because spiritually it has been fulfilling. A lot of people, they go through life feeling that disconnect within themselves because their voice, their heart is saying that something isn't right or that they want to do something but then they are too afraid to go after it so they keep on suppressing 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 
and then they just feel not whole, disconnected, something is off. Ever since I chose the path of chasing my dreams, I've never had the disconnect feeling pop up. Even though this path is hard and there's so much uncertainty and instability, what it did for my spiritual and mental and emotional health, that's the reward itself. Feeling so at peace with yourself knowing that you are choosing yourself, that is a reward too. And then eventually, your dreams will also come true. <laughs> Essentially, your future self exists in the way you envision them and they're already living the life that you're desiring which is why you desire it it's just happening further down your timeline and so it's another way of saying what you're seeking is also seeking you you are meant to match up with your desires because that is literally your future reality which is why you desire it and that really speaks to me. I feel like I've had many times in the past where I just kind of knew that certain things would happen. Uh, the 